This is the Oklahoma Sports Podcast presented by OklahomaSports.net. Stay tuned for interviews and information about high school, college, and professional sports around the state of Oklahoma. Now here's your host, Joey McWilliams. Thanks again for stopping by the podcast today. Our visit is with Coach Jake Hendrick, who is the Northeastern State Riverhawk baseball coach. Coach, winners of seven of the last eight. The season appears to be on a bit of an upswing right now. Hopefully we're playing our best baseball right now. That's what you're looking for. So uh, one month left, this would be a good time to do it. <laughs> no doubt. Well, listen, we need to get into one game in particular, and, and that was on Saturday. You all split with Southwest Baptist on Saturday, but a wild finish in your first game. You were trailing 5-1 in the ninth inning. You come out with a 6-5 win. Now, okay, we get some walk-offs and we see things happen, but this was this one was wild. Take us through that final inning. Oh. <sighs> My gosh. Uh, well, we needed to get a lot of guys on base to even have a chance. So, uh, you know, like you said, I mean, I've seen a lot of different things happen. You got to get all 27 out. So you never feel like you're out of it until the game's over. But <laughs> the way it went was definitely, uh, definitely interesting. I think uh, there were multiple, let's see, we had the bases loaded down by, down by three. And Alex Massey hit a line drive to center field that probably should have been caught. It tipped off the center fielder's glove. That scored two. And so then we had first and third down by one. And uh, two outs. And we decided to steal second, which made it second and third. And they just let us steal the bag, uh, knowing that if they got the last out uh, with the guy at the plate, it really didn't matter. And I think it was a 1-1 count when pitcher threw a slider in the dirt. They kicked away from the catcher, so we scored one to tie. And catcher picked it up to try and throw it to the plate to get a play on the on the first run, and he threw it right past the pitcher and into our dugout. So the uh, ball was dead. <laughs> the winning run scored on a pass ball, so two runs on a pass ball to win it, which is something I've never seen, uh, at least live. <laughs> to be a part of something like that. So the walk-off swinging strike, is that how it goes down? That's right. I, I, think, yeah, I, don't, I don't know where the, if the RBIs go anywhere. Or, uh, you know, the only thing that feels the same is the win, I guess. And that was that was our seventh in a row. So that was a, that was a cool way to get to get that one, that's for sure. Well, and, and you pick up wins, I guess, at this point in the season any way you can. There's no really wrong way to get a win, but that that's all right, and, and that's what you need. Speaking now with Coach Jake Hendrick from Northeastern State, another thing that happened in that ball game in particular was your starter, Dustin Barong. He broke the program's career strikeout record in the first inning. He hit the 218 mark and continues to, to run with that. How's he look for you this season? You know, he's, he's been in this program, obviously, to break a record like that. You have to be in a program for a long time, and you have to have success. So uh, he's, he's a guy that uh, has gone through multiple injuries in his career and has really battled to be the type of arm that he is uh, competitively. So I'd say, I mean, he's, he's a getting his master's here and uh, finishing up. But he's, he's as tough as anybody. I love having him, and he's been a – a great leader for this program will continue to be a great leader for the program. Coach, he has has been well. He's has had more appearances than than anyone else on the team. And I wanted to ask you about that too. You have sent out sixteen players to the mound this season, and it's not just you know one player, one appearance, or anything like that. All sixteen have had multiple appearances. Are, are you just looking to pitch by committee this season, or are you just trying to find that right arm for the right situation? Yeah, that's a gosh, that's an interesting question. I mean, I've never had as deep of a pitching staff as we have this year, and the number of guys that we felt like going into the year could contribute, um, you know, was a big number. And I think we went through a lot of adversity early in the year, so I think some of those numbers are just trying to find where the pieces are going to fit and uh, how we can start having success. And then uh, some of it is there really is a large number of guys that I believe can get significant outs for us, and so. Um, it's kind of who's the healthiest when we're playing and, um, you know, who puts us in the best situation to try and, you know, get certain, certain hitters out because it's tough. And, you know, some of it's a gut feel thing and some of it's, Hey, I believe this guy's stuff 
uh, against this team or in this matchup gives us the best chance to to have success on the mound. But yeah, interesting. That that many guys on the mound is definitely a lot. And I would say uh, some of them, their numbers are inflated based on uh, how things started early in the year. But a lot of those guys are really competitive and really tough. Right, I understand, and 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 just looking at the the statistics right now, at, at six of them have had uh, double digits worth of appearances as well. Of course, that includes Barong, uh, who's had the most uh, and been out there for you and and been able to to do some damage for you. Speaking now with Coach Jake Hendrick from Northeastern State here on the Oklahoma Sports Podcast. Well, you've had pitchers out there too, but you have been able to put some runs on the board. You're averaging six runs per game. Yeah, I would think that at least when we look at how we're doing and anytime you're you're on a winning streak or coming off a winning streak you would think that you're trending in the right direction but i would say um all three phases of the game we're uh, continuing to climb we're playing better defense than than we have all year uh, we're swinging the bat better than we have all year and i think we're starting to pitch it better than we have all year so uh, there's a number of guys offensively that are really um really taking off and, and really playing well right now well, Coach, this is the time of year then really to get it going. 18 games left on the schedule in the regular season. And let's look at the next two series then as, as we, we wrap up this time. You all are in the ninth spot in the MIAA standings right now. And your next series this week at Pittsburgh State, of course, uh, proximity-wise, it's one of the closer teams in the MIAA. But also, they're in the number eight spot. So, you know, this this is a big series to try to maybe make up some ground, and, and also as the season winds down, it, it could wind up being a big series. And then, of course, the week after that, you get the arch-rival Central Oklahoma there in Tahlequah. Yeah, the first one, yeah, I was talking to my staff this morning about, about the importance of this series. And, um, you know, I think trying to relay that message is sometimes almost impossible to your players. You just hope that they show up and play as good as they can. But, uh, you know, we may look up at the end of the year and, series of Pitt State uh, made the difference or uh, played a role in one of the two of us being in the conference tournament because obviously eight make it. Uh, so with them being one spot ahead, yeah, that's definitely uh, – it's a big-time big time game for us. And I would say, um, you know, you never know how it's going to work out. But I would, like I said earlier, we're trending uh, in the right direction. And they're going to be tough. Every MIAA team is tough. And if you don't show up and play well, uh, you got a chance to – you're probably going to get beat. <laughs> I understand. Well, Coach, the River Hawks on the road Friday for a single game and then a doubleheader on Saturday against Pittsburgh State. Coach Jake Hendrick, thank you very much for taking time with us today on the Oklahoma Sports Podcast, and, and success to you as the season continues along. You bet, Joey. I appreciate it.